from Camacho's in the city of industry. It's Cinco de Mayo. There is a date I celebrate. It's called Cinco de Mayo. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-866. Cinco de Mayo and Camachos, baby. I promise you guys the loudest, wildest broadcast, loudest, wildest party. This is it. Listen, you guys. Um, really. We're all out of control. Anyway, here we are with a, a special bonus edition of Wide Open Telephones on this Cinco de Mayo because it's Monday, not the usual Friday event. And uh, we decided that uh, because the crowd is so crazy, all we can do here is just uh, invite you to call in here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. And you attention whores out there, you get a big, loud, live crowd to play to here. So if you call us right now, you will get in and you will talk to the crowd and to everybody listening on the radio. In addition, don't, we're going to get to that. In addition, if you're calling for another country, you can call our international line at 1-323-520-6211. Okay, here we go. It's loud, so you'll have a hard time hearing me, but what is your name? Diana. Did you attention before? Uh, no. <laughs> Never? No, I don't know. Tell, tell us why you're here, dear. To go and listen to you. <laughs> uh, now, why are you here on stage with me? So you can sign my rack. Of course you want to be inside your rack. Absolutely. And here they come. Oh, yes. Here we are. What's the cup size here, dear? Huh? What is your cup size? A C. C cup? About a 34C? Yeah. Beautiful. After a while, you get to know these. Show the guys over there. See all the cameras? Walk right up to them. Show them that I signed you, Diana. Show them. She's taking the walk of shame right now. Over here. Come on this way. Show the guys over here. Look at the cameras going off. You've never seen that many cameras. Look at that. Good work. Very nice. Thank you. I'm here to help, dear. There goes Diana, everybody. Party right there. All right, here we are. There's a lot of, got a lot of drunken wild men out there. A lot of them. By the way, you can join the mayhem down here at Camacho's. If you're on the way home from work, point your car in this direction. Take the 60 freeway to the Crossroads Parkway exit. And here we are at Camacho's. You can't miss this huge crowd here. It's like Dodger Stadium here, for Christ's sake. All right. And we have other ladies in the crowd who'd like to come up and get signed. We will sign them before the end of this hour. We will sign them. Before the end of this hour. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Scott. Hey, Tom, can I ask you a question? Why are so many so-called proud Mexicans ignorant of their own history? They don't know what Pico de Mayo really means. Well, have you done a survey of Mexicans to, to see what they know or well, not? Well, uh, like this last guy, Javier, who called in, he said, speak of the mile, something about independence or a revolution. Those are three different things. Well, you know, uh, Scott, yeah, I would, I would agree with you, except I know how little Americans know about American history. And I know how little Americans know about what's going on today. So I hesitate to criticize people who come from other countries because what do we know? 
Well, Mexicans who were raised in Mexico. He was not raised in Mexico. He, he was not raised in Mexico. He was raised here. He was, I know, but so why does he call himself a proud Mexican? He doesn't know anything about his own history. Well, the, like all the proud, it's like all the, pro it's like all the, pro hey, it's like all the proud Americans who don't know who the vice president is, and there's a lot of them. Well, the, the ignorance level in the United States is a little bit higher than Mexico. Mexicans born and raised in Mexico. The they ignorance about level history. about our country is at the all-time high, as far as I can tell. We are not in any position to be critical of people from other countries because our own people don't know our own history and do not understand the government and do not participate in the political process. Well, I'm saying that Mexicans, they know their own history because they're taught very well in their system. Uh, well, Scott, I, I don't think you really know what Mexicans are tied into or not tied into. Uh, you're a white guy who uh, runs into Mexicans once in a while on your delivery route or whatever, and you think you know Mexicans, but have you, how much time have you spent in Mexico, pal? I'm talking about Mexicans, not pochos. So you haven't, how much time have you spent in Mexico? <laughs> hey, hey, Tom, you give me a, a grita, Mexico. All right, here you go. Here it is. Give him that Mexican shout there, Art. He doesn't know what that is, but go ahead. There it is. Oh, yeah, but I know it's getting kind of crazy. 1 800 5800 Tom, that's our telephone number here. Anything goes on the phone and apparently in person. That's the deal. Let's say hello here to Adrian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Adrian. I got with this disposable income. I got about $500 at the end of the month. And I don't know where to put it. What do you think? Adrian, do you have any debts? I don't. I'm debt free. You're debt free? Debt free, do, sir. Do you, do you have a, a, an IRA and a 401k? Uh, I have a 401k at my old job that I'm still adding to it. Why do you still have it at your old job? Uh, well, I quit that up and left it. So now I'm at a different profession now. I'm going to make it real simple. You roll that 401k into an IRA. Get it out of the 401k at the old job. Get it out of the and it. put it into an IRA? Right. That's now. Uh, Do that. And then put that money. You have to have six months of savings. So in case you lose your job, you got to be all set. Sounds like a plan. Those See, are your, that's why. Those are your first two investments, pal. That's what you got to do. Good luck on that. Wow. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. And as we uh, roll through on this Cinco de Mayo, it's wide open telephones. It's a bonus edition. And in this hour, we've got about 40 minutes left for you to call in and make your point in front of this crowd. Maybe you wanted to dress me down in front of the crowd, for God's sake. It's your opportunity right now. Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh. Yes. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Pretty good. I hear you having a good party out there. Are we having a good party, boys? Yeah. These guys are drunk, punchy. Some people got punched today. It's been quite a day. Oh, well, it's pretty good, eh? Hey, I just finally to tell you that I wish I can go, but I messed up. I got married. Yeah. Why did you do that? Because I didn't have a radio. I wasn't listening to you. You didn't have a radio? Oh. <laughs> What planet are you calling from? Well, I was working two jobs. I can't listen to the radio where I work at. <laughs> hey, Tom. Yes. Can you take me out Kobe style, please? I'll, I'll take you out Kobe style. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's your beat to my heart. Oh. Yeah, I breathe. She's so special to me. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Uh, let's say hello here to Stephanie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. How are you? Do you care? Not really. Then why did you ask? Because uh, I guess that's just a polite thing to do, and I was raised with some manners. What? So listen, I, usually, I, I usually, usually we'll get to your question in a second. Usually, I should point out that when people say that they have manners, 
and they were uh, raised a certain way. We're going to find out how impolite they really are in the next paragraph or two. <laughs> and here it That's comes, I, because I've been doing this a long time, and I know how your type operates, Stephanie, so while you may think you are clever and you're about to ambush me, understand that I know your type, I know what you're going to do, so go ahead, Stephanie. Show us, show us the manners you were raised with. Go right ahead. Why, why don't you, since you think you know me so well, why don't you tell me what you think I'm going to do? I, I already did. What, what, what is that? I'm not going to repeat it, Stephanie. Go ahead and do it now. I, I just have a simple question for you. Uh, you were on our radio the other day, and I, I did start listening to about a year ago. But I was just with my husband, and he asked me, why I listen to you, and I said, you know, I find you amusing from time to time. But he informed me that you've been married yourself a bunch of times. Let me Is point something out. Let me point something out, you idiot. That you've been listening for a year. In a year, I've probably said how many times I've been married about four thousand times. It's amazing how you haven't heard a word I've said in all that time. Well, uh, I, I must block that part out because. I'm surprised that anyone would marry you, other than exactly what you preach, that people marry you for your money. That's right. You're stupid enough that you marry them. Right. You don't practice what you preach. Oh, yes, I do. You are not attractive. Oh, yes, I do. I practice what I preach. You're not attractive. I practice what I preach. You're, you're not good-looking. There you go. And Here clearly, they, they marry Stephanie. you for your money. Here's Stephanie showing her manners that she was raised with. Listen to that. Once again, doing exactly, nothing to do with manners. doing exactly what women do when they call me. Yes, well, I was raised with no, manners. I'm not, I'm not. I just have one question for you. She never asked the question. She just goes on and starts trying no, to my, insult you, me. That's my question. That's all Why you don't do. you practice what, is, what you preach? I do practice what I preach, darling. You have no idea what I well, actually do. These women. I am not married now, and I have not been married for years and yeah, years. You were taken for a ride already. It doesn't matter. I have never been taken for a ride. I have never paid alimony i have never paid child support i have never paid uh, community property ever 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 because never nobody watch your children sir uh, that's okay guess what i don't have to pay got it i have never been watch your children. i have never been taken for a, i don't want to have children and i have never been taken for a ride ever ever that's what you say i'm telling you by the way, yeah, divorces, divorces, no, 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 divorces are a matter of public record. So go ahead and check. Okay, so the women that date you now, you think they date you for your looks? I really don't care. I don't care why they date me. As long as they uh, give me what I'm looking for, I couldn't care less why they date me. I could. Uh, you had no problem finding it when you were down there, did you? Oh, you wish, sweetie. You oh wish. yeah. Oh yeah. I you wish for wish. some. I wish for some over-the-hill hag like you to be uh, getting, putting her hands on me. Forget it. You you, you passed your expiration date years ago, oh, sweetheart. Yeah, had me in your dream. You, you know, being a turkey neck, an over-the-hill turkey neck like yourself, believe me, with the money I have, I can afford a lot better, darling. That's hysterical. That's hysterical. You are one over-the-hill turkey neck, darling, and your husband is a big pussy, which he would have to be. What? Your husband is a big pussy, which he would have to be to be with a bitch like you. <laughs> I guess I really got you to piss you off that Ooh. bad, Arthur. Ooh, you really got me. Ooh. I guess I really got you. You know what? All I'm going to say is this. I still have a seven-figure income. And I have the number one radio show so in LA. That and make you, you a man. And you are still. A, a and you are still. Make, you are wait, still. That an, doesn't make you, you a man, still, honey. You are still an over the head prune, an over the hill, over the hill turkey neck who's past her expiration date. Yeah. That you I are. Have, that that, that is what you are. No, I, I have that, 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 money. That, 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 it doesn't make you a man. That, 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 yeah. Well, that's what everybody says whose husband doesn't you make anybody. You make if you were hot, you a man? if you were hot, you you'd be know, with a man. The only reason no if you were, go out yeah, with you yeah. is because... One eight hundred five eight hundred town. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Do you have kids? By design, I do not. You don't. By design. By design. Yes. That's the thing. By dictionary. Stupid bitch. It's the Tom Likes Show. Tom Likes Show. Another wild Cinco de Mayo. 
at 1-800-5800-TOP. That's our telephone number. Are you guys having a good time? Are you drunk? Are you stoned? Do you not know? Just check. Okay, here we are. It's uh, Camacho's, and you can join us on the way home from work. It's the 60 Freeway at the Crossroads Parkway exit. It's Camacho's, and uh, we've been doing this every year for, it seems like, forever. It does. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Tammy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> I'm not going to ask how are you because I don't want to piss you off. <laughs> I understand. I I really enjoy listening to the show. Um, but I, I do want to ask, I, I realize over the years you've talked about marriage and you don't want to get married again. The last caller that called in, you know, said, why don't you practice what you preach? But I understand, um, you know, over the years you've talked about not wanting to get married for obvious reasons. But what I want to know is, okay, a few weeks ago on your show, you were saying that, you know, when you're with them and so forth, they want their manicures, they want their pedicures, this and that. And they were getting that. And then when you give them the boot, you know, they're living in a one-bedroom apartment. I can't that anymore. But why are you... Even though the papers are signed and you're not married. Darling, 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 that was back to the days when women used to live with me, which they don't anymore. They don't anymore. No. Okay. I live alone. Because I just, for me, it's like as a woman, if you're going to be with a man, you should be with a man because you care for them and so forth. And making your own money, pay for your own pedicures, pay for your manicures. I agree. But only unattractive or fat women actually believe that. <laughs> well, I don't think that you would consider me unattractive, but you I know, know, darling, you're calling. You are calling from Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meats. <laughs> no, I go Tammy's a lot. <laughs> Tammy, how tall are you? I'm five three. How much do you weigh, darling? I weigh 117. 117. Yes. Are you a butterface? How are you still in Portland, Oregon, looking like that? I don't know, Tom. Born and raised. Wow. <laughs> Most hot chicks in Portland leave town. Well, believe me, I've thought about it. You've thought about it? <laughs> I've thought about it. <laughs> it's not an accident that Portland, Oregon has more strip clubs per capita than even Los Angeles, for God's sake. You can tell me what you think. You know what? Email me a picture and I'll put it on my MySpace. And then everybody else can say what they think. How about that? Okay, sounds good. All right, hang on. Dean's going to tell you where to send that photo, and then we will post it, and you can tell people. Uh, people will tell you whether they think you're attractive. They're still going strong out there. 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Bob. Bob on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Bob. What can I do for you, Bob? I was just about to let you know that I'm celebrating my freedom, Tom. What happened, Bob? Uh, I got a video of marriage. I decided I had enough. Did you dump that bitch? Sure did. Like a bad habit. How did she react when you dumped her? Uh, not too surprised. I think she kind of thought she had it coming. And so now you're a free man, Bob. Yes, I am. Look at you. So you I, I, have you started going out and getting more ass than a toilet seat, Bob? You know what? I really haven't done that yet because uh, this was just a matter of this weekend. But, uh, um... And, Bob, but do you I have a plan on getting out there soon? All right, so you've got a game plan. i got a game plan. All right, Bob. Well, good luck out there. Thanks a lot, Tom. Appreciate it. He takes out a Kobe style with the bum rip at the end. Here you go, Bob. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's a beat to my heart. Oh. The air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 
It's 1-800. No call. It's 1-800-5800. Tom, I forgot about the bong hit there. 1-800-5800-866. It's wide open telephones, a bonus edition here at Camacho's for Cinco de Mayo. Here's Tom on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Yo, what's up? Just wanted to say what's cracking, you know. I want to give you mad props on you, the phone. You, you want to know what's cracking? Somebody's ass as soon as I get out of here tonight. <laughs> That's right. That's what I like to hear. Who's ass let you know, I had a been? good ass weekend. Kept the Tom Likas one on one in mind. Didn't waste any money. Met some dope chicks in Newport Beach. I just want to say it's good to hear you on a Monday. Faded off my ass, too. Um, Take me out. <coughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Wide open telephones, a bonus edition. Hello. Hello, father. Hello, darling. How you doing? I'm doing great. Well, I'm trying to say thank you so much. You talked me out of making the biggest mistake of my life. I almost got married. No. And, And what made you change your mind? Listening to you. Really? Really. Granted, it's because a lot of what you say is true. Really think about it. There are those stupid women, for lack of a better term, and all they want to do is just milk a guy. And this guy, all he wanted to do was be us, us, us. And he wanted to kind of just be like, he wanted to control me, and that's not going to work for me. Right. Well, that's what marriage is all about. It's about uh, handcuffing somebody to you. That's what I said. I'm like, you know what? Why do we have to get married? Like, what's wrong with the relationship now? We're having fun. We're doing what we want. This isn't going to work out. So yeah. I'm going to leave them. Good for you. You should, what? Darling, you should come over here and celebrate with your professor personally. I should, and I think you'd be very proud of me. Uh, I got, today is my birthday. Happy birthday, Alex. Thank you. How old are you now? I turned 20 today. Oh, I love 20. That's a great age. It is. A lot of things just are perfect at this age, especially body-wise. Alex, it's time you showed me everything. <laughs> well, if I could, Father, I would. Really? That's the word. Oh, Alex, that is so fantastic. I totally love it. Hopefully one day you will, dear. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Look at this. More people on stage. All right, darling. What is your name here? Laura. Laura, where are you from? Wherever you want me to be. Just tell us where you got in the car today. Arcadia. Arcadia. All right. And she's out of control. All right, Alec. Uh, Now, look at you. Now, you see all those cameras? Look at the cameras out there. They want to see what you've got. Oh, 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 look at that. There it is. There they are. Oh, my. What's your cup size, dear? Double D. Double D. Walk out there and show the guys. Walk along. Show the guys at the campus. There goes the double Ds right there. Little tramp stamp. Oh, she's, those are double D's, all right. Yeah, these guys over here didn't see. Oh, yeah, she's taking the walk of shame here on the stage. Look at that. Oh, if you were here, you'd be seeing this right now. Very nice. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Love you. Tom, will you marry me? I don't marry anyone, dear, as you know. I'll work for free. <laughs> you can do that without marrying me, you know. Thank you, darling. There she goes. They want one more look. They want an encore. There they go. She's bouncing them up and down. Oh, yeah. And then you got the butterfly tramp stamp. It's a complete package there. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's wide open telephones. A bonus edition because we're in front of this loud, drunken crowd. Loud, drunken crowd, all of my boys, the sons I never had, they're all here. And some of the daughters, too. Very, very nice. 
Anyway, you can join us here at Camacho's, take the 60 freeway to Crossroads Parkway, and you'll be here, for God's sake. So come out, join the party on Cinco de Mayo. Meanwhile, it's wide open telephones, and you can call in here and talk to the entire country and this group of reprobates sitting right in front of me. Like this. Like this. 1-800-5800-TOWN. Like this. 1-800-5800-866. I've been listening to you since I was four years old. You're like a third parent to me. It's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> I am drinking a Cadillac margarita right now. Oh, I need this. This is hard work. I got my my hands all over hot chicks all day, and then I drink a Cadillac margarita just to calm down. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Cinco de Mayo. Tomorrow we return to the cockpit. We'll be back in the studio for a very different vibe tomorrow. <laughs> uh, aren't you sorry you didn't come down here today? Aren't you sorry? Yeah, man. A little bit. I'm a little sorry. Art is sorry. Art wishes he would. Art had to run the board. And Dean? Dean is probably beside himself. Dean's been answering the phone. Dean knows what's been calling it off the air. Oh, my. Out of control. Gary is here. We'll have a full report. Do you guys know what's been going on? By the way, I'm asking the guys in the studio. Do you guys know what's been going on off the air here during the show? You guys here all know what was going on here. We had a first here. Well, now the show's all, you know, at least this hour of the show, the same show's almost over. We had a first. We had a girl fight here today. Girl fight between uh, members of rival strip clubs. I'm not making this up. That's what they were. Rival strip clubs. We were here trying to get free plugs on the air. They started hair pulling, and it was just fantastic. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Am I telling the truth, guys? See, I think some people sit at home, they go, oh, this is just theater. He's just saying that. He's just saying it's going to be wild. No, no. It's wild, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, sometimes we, we, we try to calm things down a little bit in the room. Sometimes you just gotta calm things down a little bit. But uh, always fun. Always fun. All right, here we go. 1 800 5 800 Tom. You guys ready here? Let. Dean wants to know who was the winner of the girl fight. Uh, I don't think there was a clear winner. I think security got everybody out of here in a timely fashion. I don't know if it continued in the parking lot. I don't know what happened. No idea. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Jason. How you doing, Tom? <laughs> I'm doing okay, Jason. I am pissed. I can't beat it. Let me tell you that much. Jason, I wish you were here today. That's all I could say. God bless it. You know, I've been doing. I've been doing this show for a long time. I saw things today we've never seen before. Oh boy, I, I bet it measures up with uh, Lake Havis doing the sandbar. I don't think we can ever, I don't know if we can ever match this again. I don't know if it can ever be this wild again. Uh, we need to have two Cinco de Mayo. There was stuff going on with the mariachis today that I've never seen before. Uh, I tell you, maybe I got a story for you, Tom, you're not going to believe. What's that? I'm, uh, I was just finished driving back from work. I was out in the Pomona area, and... Listening to your radio station as loud as it could go so I could hear with my windows down. And I guess I was just hauling ass, and I went through a stop sign. And uh, 
local uh, law enforcement agency pulled me over, and I had no idea they were even behind me. When I fought over, the cop bring me a new butthole, and after all was said and done, he asked why I didn't pull over and why I went through a stop sign. I told him, honestly, sir, I was, I was listening to Tom Likas. And he goes, you're listening to who? And I said, Tom Likas. He goes, up, have a good day. You're out of here, man. You're the man. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, wait. Did I tell you that the Tom Likas listener never has an issue with law enforcement? They're our best friends. I'm telling you, I was, I was scared to death because I was calling out. The so, Tom Lika show. To... Is, the Tom Lika show is nothing but a supporter of law enforcement. You see, you have benefited from being in that glow, uh, because uh, all I can say is, when I meet cops, they're, they're our biggest fans. They're all in the target demo. Uh, they they all understand exactly what we're talking about with relationships and domestic violence and all this stuff. I mean, they are our heroes in every way. So that's right. Good for you. So they're my hero now. But I want to tell you that's a good story for you. Jason, that was a great story. Congratulations and good for you and drive safely. All right, take care, buddy. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 1 800 5800 Tom. Here comes Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. So I'm talking to the world famous Tom Likas. You have to explain something to me, you, Tom. By the way, you wouldn't dare come down here and say that to them in person, would you, Mike? I've got a stack of the brass monkey. Try me. Yeah, why don't you. I didn't use any cursive language, Tom. I wasn't talking to you. There you go, Mike. I have a question for you, Tom. Yes, Mike. Help me help explain something. For somebody such as yourself who is so adamant and so serious about protecting your wealth, your two homes, your seven-figure income, your lifestyle. Glad to know you're a regular listener and that you know so much about I told you that it. I liked your show, Tom. Yes. That doesn't mean I have to agree with everything you say. I think this is Lou Dobbs Jr. calling it. Go ahead, Lou. Help explain this to not only me but your audience. Come on, Lou. I think there's a little bit of self-contradiction Lou here. Dobbs Jr. Go ahead, Lou. Thank you. Can you please explain to me how is it that you date the one group of women that is the most likely not to have an abortion and not to be on birth control? And you've said yourself verbatim, your words were, I've never dated a Hispanic woman that's been on birth control, but you, you say yourself, you've never had a vasectomy operation. Now, how can you say that by only relying on condoms that you're going to be safe from not having a kid? And by the way, do you think you that most really women are angry. telling the truth when they say that they will have an abortion? Clearly they have. I think you're delusional. You know what, Tom? I don't think these women you're banging are real Latina women that I are see. traditional Latin women. I think I they're see. bar whores. I, the I think bar they're whores. gold digging bar whores. They're not with you because you're a great lover. They're with you because you got cash. And there's nothing wrong with you being successful, Tom. They're just bar whores. <laughs> Why don't you come down here and talk about the thugs? Why don't you come down here and stand on this stage and tell 1,500 people here that they're a bunch of thugs? Come on down. Tell me, Tom, do you enjoy masturbating to the misery of others? Come on down, Mike. Where are you? I'm on the freeway if you give me a chance. Come on down. down. We're, we're right here. City of industry, right? Yeah, come on down. The guys want to see you. They're all waiting for Tom, you. you haven't answered my question. And they all had a few shots. So they're ready for you. You haven't answered my question, Tom. Can you explain that? Explain to me how is it that you date the one group of women that is most likely not to have an abortion or be on birth control? How can you explain that? He's coming down to the station. He's coming down. He's coming down. He's coming. He's on his way. He's on the freeway right now. Unbelievable. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone. We, what is it in the air? We got all these people calling and threatening me. We got girl fights here on the stage. Something's in the air. Something's in the air. Let's say hi to Phil on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
Hello, Dad. Hello, son. I just wanted to call and let you know how much you saved my butt this weekend. Of course. I uh, recently moved out here to California, but I had to go back home this weekend for a wedding. One of my friends was getting married, and I knew I was going to run into my ex fiance at the time. But um, when I first left, out that she did exactly what she said they do. Started going to the gym. She wound up getting herself a job. Uh, hey, I found 40 back for this wedding, and I was laughing was to run into this chick because I know how you said every guy had the heart out of the steps. Well. Phil, yeah. I, 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 it sounds to me like it's a good thing we were there for you, Phil. And I'm, I'm proud of you. There we go. <laughs> All right. Done. Anyway. The line cats are here. I want to, uh, I want to thank, first of all, all you boys for coming out here to hang out with me on Cinco de Mayo. And I want to thank all our good friends. These are the sponsors who made the show possible. Salsa Ornitos and Dos Equis and Subaru. And last but not least, our good friends for so many years here, the folks at Camacho's Cantina. And uh, we, are, we are just absolutely thrilled. We had a great time. Did you guys have a good time? They're all drunk. They're all out of it. We took it out of them. Thanks to the Light Cats, too. Thank you, girls. Thank you, everybody. Our email address, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.